Memory Alpha is a wiki encyclopedia for topics related to the Star Trek fictional universe. Conceived by Harry Dadema and Dan Carlson in September 2003 and officially launched on December 5 of that year, it uses the Wiki model and is hosted by Wikia, Inc. on the MediaWiki software. Memory Alpha contains over 43,000 articles and 44,000 images in its English edition alone as of December 2018, making it one of the largest Wiki projects. The site is also available in several other languages, including Bulgarian, Catalan, Chinese, Czech, Dutch, Esperanto, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Serbian, Spanish, and Swedish. History Memory Alpha aims to create a comprehensive database for all fans, but was not conceived as a wiki. Two concerns spurred its creation, many Star Trek references of the time were incomplete, and the most promising would shut down regularly. Dadema and Carlson christened their project Memory Alpha, after the Federation's largest information archive, from the original series episode, The Lights of Zatar. The two decided on a wiki format, which allowed for more collaboration than other formats available. As Carlson said in the Charlotte Observer, The idea I latched onto with the wiki concept is you can spread the work around. Everyone can pitch in and go in on their own special interest. After experimenting with TikiWiki software, they switched to the MediaWiki platform, finding it less cumbersome. The platform of choice for Wikimedia Foundation projects proved to be, in their opinion, more stable and efficient, and they brought a test site online on November 11, 2003. Memory Alpha officially launched on December 5 that year. The site gained momentum in the following months, aided by a mention on the Star Trek fan site, Trek Nation, on December 23. Memory Alpha reached 1,000 articles by January 12, 2004, but on March 23, the site's database was accidentally erased during an upgrade of the MediaWiki software. Although this caused six weeks of work to be lost, the project expanded to include Dutch and German versions on April 10 and May 14 respectively. It remained stable until the following year, when the fees associated with hosting the site became more than the founders could afford. In February 2005, Memory Alpha switched hosting servers and joined Wikia, a free-for-profit wiki hosting company started by Wikimedia Foundation board members Jimmy Wales and Angela Beasley. The site remained stable on Wikia, opening a Swedish site on May 5 and a French one on November 5. It also received several distinctions that year, such as the X Asterisk Excellentia Award from X Asterisk Scientia, a Star Trek reference site, in September 2005, and it was featured as the Sci Fi Channel site of the week for October 10, 2005. Star Trek, Voyager and Star Trek, Enterprise writer, producer Mike Sussman joined the community that year as well. Technical issues led the MediaWiki software to believe Memory Alpha was started on November 23, 2004, and despite the inaccuracy, this date was adopted ex post facto as Memory Alpha's birthday. The latter part of 2005 and early 2006 saw several new features added to the site. Among these was a peer review process, implemented on September 21, 2005 in response to questions about the process by which articles become featured. On November 20 of that year, Memory Alpha began a Babel program, inspired by and modeled after that of the Wikimedia Commons, to help users who speak the same language. Other recent innovations include an area for user projects, sometimes referred to as wiki projects on other wikis, and coverage of fan films. The site has remained popular since its inception, although its growth has slowed in recent times. For instance, it was the largest project on Wikia until October 2005, when its article count was surpassed by Wikipedia and Encyclopedia. 
Today, it has approximately 1,300 registered users 80 of whom are active and upwards of 17 million page views since its move to Wikia. As of February 2006, it receives on average, slightly more visitors and page views per day than the official Star Trek website according to Alexa. Memory Alpha has influenced the design of other Wikicities dedicated to information about television franchises, including the X-Files Wiki and the 24 Wiki it is a resource used by mainstream journalists for information on Star Trek-related issues. Influential edublogger Will Richardson hailed the site in his 2006 book blogs, wikis, podcasts, and other powerful web tools for classrooms as one of the most impressive wikis out there. On June 12, 2007, Memory Alpha reached a milestone of 25,000 articles with the creation of the article Robert Iscove. Entertainment Weekly named Memory Alpha one of the 25 essential fan sites in 2007. In comparing it to other Star Trek sites, the reviewer wrote, Memory Alpha wins out for its handsome, intuitive presentation and its overwhelming mass. It was revealed in April 2016 that actor and writer for Star Trek Beyond, Simon Pegg, used Memory Alpha as a canon resource in writing of the film, even asking the community's leaders to name and give etymology for a device in the film. Topic. Structure Several aspects of Memory Alpha set it apart from other reference works, such as its method of citing sources. All information must be cited from a valid source see canon section below, but rather than a works cited or references list, Memory Alpha prefers standalone inline citations, which are placed in parentheses after the sentence or section in question. For television episodes, this consists of an abbreviation for the series from which the information came e.g. DS9 for Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, followed by the name of the episode in double quotation marks. So, to cite information from the Star Trek, the Next Generation TNG pilot, Encounter at Fairpoint, one would add, TNG, Encounter at Fairpoint. The same rule applies for films, without the series prefix and with italics in place of quotation marks. The same method of notation is also used in the printed Star Trek Encyclopedia, which is unrelated to the Memory Alpha wiki. Articles on Memory Alpha are written from two points of view. In-universe, which are written as if the reader is a part of the Star Trek universe, and production which speak from a real-world perspective. For in-universe articles, behind-the-scenes information is not included in the main body of the article, rather, it is placed in a separate background section or included indented and italicized to separate it from the in-universe perspective. The latter method is used in cases where either the information is particularly important such as conflicting information from two canonical sources or there is not enough background to justify a separate section. In most cases, the background method is preferred and italics are used sparingly. Like many wikis, Memory Alpha has a section for featured articles, those believed to represent the best the community has to offer. The criteria for this distinction are that an article must be well written, comprehensive which includes citing sources, accurate and undisputed, criteria any article could hypothetically fulfill. This has caused some conflict over the criteria involved see current issues section. To be featured, an article must be nominated by a user and unanimously supported by at least five other users. Any objections must be fixable and may be invalidated if deemed irrational or unreasonable. Each week, one of the site's featured articles becomes the article of the week to be displayed on the project homepage. Several methods of communication are available beyond conventional talk pages. The Community Portal section of the website is named after 10 Forward, a locale frequented by characters on the next generation. 
Issues discussed there range from disputes between users to new ideas on how to improve the site to upcoming projects. A separate area, the reference desk, exists for discussions and questions related to what is considered part of the canon, discrepancies between sources, and other such topics. However, meta trek topics, a term used for Star Trek related topics that do not pertain in any way to memory alpha, are not discussed on the wiki. A separate IRC chatroom exists for these discussions. Topic. Canon policy The question of canonicity is a complex one and has plagued fans since Star Trek began in 1966. The general policy of Paramount Pictures is that anything outside live-action television episodes and movies is apocryphal, or non-canonical. However, gray areas in this policy, especially in relation to the canonical status of Star Trek, the animated series TAS, further complicate the matter and have led to many debates among fans. In light of this, Memory Alpha crafted its own unique definition of canon in relation to what may be used as a valid resource. The animated series is included as valid, or canonical, for a number of reasons, such as the fact that Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry and most of the cast of the original series were involved with it and the existence of several references to TAS events in later series. Information taken from the Star Trek Encyclopedia and Star Trek Chronology is mostly accepted on Memory Alpha as well, to the extent that it does not break from established on-screen facts. Content from these sources is an acknowledged gray area of Memory Alpha's canon policy and is disregarded if deemed speculative or contradictory. Thus, in some ways they hold the same weight as novels and other publications do for Star Wars canon, a uh, second tier of canonicity, which is subservient to primary on-screen sources. Other sources such as books and computer games are not included as canonical, but are covered by Memory Alpha in a way which sets it apart from other Trek resources. Books, comics, and other products are included as articles about the products, i.e. from a production point of view, but in-universe. Information unique or new to them is covered on the product page. For example, in the Star Trek, New Frontier line of books, a new host of characters is introduced to the Trek universe, and their vessel is known as the USS Excalibur. The characters, ships and information from New Frontier books do not receive pages of their own, but they are covered on the pages about the books. In this way, Memory Alpha remains all-inclusive while attempting to distinguish the canon from apocryphal material. Non-canonical characters and topics are instead covered at Memory Beta, and fan films and other fan-created material at Star Trek Expanded Universe, both are hosted by Wikia. The Star Trek Online Wiki, hosted by Curse, covers the Star Trek Online MMORPG. Topic. Issues Topic. Organizational Several issues face the Memory Alpha community, one of which is the question of which articles should be given featured status. Under Memory Alpha's current policies, both major and minor topics are eligible, however, the question has been raised of whether the criteria for featuring should be more subjective, i.e., if a topic is not significant enough, it should not be featured regardless of how comprehensive its article is. There is no consensus in the Memory Alpha community about the topic, although there has been no change in featuring policy. The question of what content Memory Alpha should cover has plagued the project since its creation. On the project's home page, it describes itself as a collaborative project to create the most definitive, accurate, and accessible encyclopedia and reference for everything related to Star Trek. But fans often have different interpretations of what everything 
means. Sometimes, one or more users may add content about a subject, such as a website, fan club or parody, that does not fit existing pages, necessitating a community decision about whether to keep the content and, if so, what to do with it. Such incidents led to the creation of an article on Star Trek parodies after several questions were raised about where to put information related to, but not a part of, the Star Trek franchise. An example of the reverse case is The Sunspots, a musical group consisting of Patrick Stewart, Jonathan Frakes, LeVar Burton and Michael Dorn. Although the actors involved were all prominent parts of Star Trek, The Next Generation, several articles on the group have been deleted because the community deemed the topic not directly related to the franchise. As of 2006, information about the sunspots can be found on the different actors' pages rather than a single, separate article. Perhaps the most heated issue on Memory Alpha in recent years is the controversy surrounding their canon policy. Aside from issues of length and excessive use of legalese, this policy has been put into question by several of the site's regular users because of its rule that articles and information which were not seen on screen but were derived from official production sources are not considered canonical on memory alpha. The site's archivists are divided as to exactly whether such information should be allowed as canonical, some want only to allow what was seen on screen while others wish to include that which was originally intended to be used on screen but never made it, such as information from deleted scenes, early script drafts, etc. The latter archivists believe that such information can be included so long as it does not contradict what was seen on screen and so long as it states where the source of the information comes from. As of July 2006, this debate has died down significantly, with most having accepted the terms of the new policy, despite early concern about how to incorporate information from the 2009 movie Star Trek, which is considered a semi-reboot of the original series, Memory Alpha members found a solution to the issue. All information from this film is recorded as separate articles, which are titled according to their subject with the term alternate reality included in the title this is from the term used in the movie itself to describe the new continuity for example the article nyota uhura discusses the character as portrayed by nichelle nichols while the article nyota uhura alternate reality discusses the character as played by zoe saldana topic <laughs> licensing The contents of Memory Alpha are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial license. Because this license does not allow commercial reuse, it is incompatible with the new Free Documentation License GFDL and with the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike License CC by SAW, and material from the site cannot be copied into projects that use the GFDL or CC by SAW. This distinction makes Memory Alpha a sister project of the primarily CC by SAW based formerly GFDL based Wikia project. Memory Alpha is cited as a source by academic journals, scholarly studies and books as well as Star Trek universe novels and reference works. Topic: See also List of online encyclopedias equals equals notes. <laughs>